Hello everyone. Um, my lecture is going to be about Portugal and a few little fun facts about Portugal and also about the Portuguese language and and I'll try to teach you a little bit about the language. So we'll see how we go. So Portugal, believe it or not, Portugal is the oldest country in Europe. It was established in 11, in 1139, so the 11th century. Lisbon is 2,700 years old, which that makes Lisbon four centuries older than Rome. Lisbon is the capital city of Portugal. In Lisbon, you'll find the oldest bookstore in the world. Uh, University of Coimbra is one of the oldest universities in the world. It was established in 1290. Uh, Portugal were the first people to discover the maritime route to India and Brazil, as well as circumnavigating the world, proving to many people that the world is not flat. However, there's still some people that think the world's flat. Hmm. Piri Piri, or as you call it here in Australia, Peri Peri, comes from Portugal. So that was introduced to Portugal a long time ago from Africa. And it's a, a chili-based sauce or paste that we use to marinate uh, meat such as chicken, steak, pork, and so forth. Uh, Portugal introduced tea to England in 1662 by Catherine of Bragança, which is where the, the Portuguese monarchs come from in the north of Portugal. Uh, Portugal used to own half of the world. Back in 1494, Portugal was given the eastern half of the New World, so that is Brazil, Asia, and Africa. Uh, believe it or not, Portugal introduced Chile to India, and a lot of the uh, Indian cuisine has a bit of a Portuguese influence, especially if you're if it's around from the, the, the western part of India, around Goa, there's a lot of Portuguese uh, stuff there, like vindaloo, which means with white wine, which Portuguese likes to cook with. Uh, also, Portugal introduced tempura, tempura to, to Japan. All right, there was, uh, tempura was a, like a, a traditional sailor's food, a way of cooking to preserve the fish. So they used to fry fish so it would last long. Uh, obviously, wine is outstanding, along with a very diverse Mediterranean Atlantic diet. Portugal has awesome surf spots. We all know that. And Portugal holds the secret recipe for the pastege nata, which is the Portuguese custard tarts. Portugal is the fast growing European language in the world behind English and is the sixth most spoken language in the world. And with that said, Portuguese is one of the hardest languages to learn because it's, it's like a mixture of um, a Romance language like you know, French, Italian, Spanish, but then it's also resembles a bit of Russian and resembles a little bit of Romanian. It's very similar to a, a Sicilian Italian. So let, let's go straight into it. Okay, and I will, what I'll do now, I will share my screen and we're going to go through it. I'm about to share my screen with you.
and I'll bring this up. So I, I've got a few things here. So it's called a lingua portuguesa, the Portuguese language. And the first thing that I would like to highlight is homem. Homem means men. Now it's a silent H, so it's homem. Mulher, mulher is woman. And the LH is like the LL in Spanish. It's like a Y. Mulher. Menino means boy. Menina means girl. Now, you notice that menino finishes with an O and menina fi finishes with an A. So most things in Portuguese, words that finish with an O, has a masculine weight on it. Whereas words that finish with an A has a feminine weight on it. Uh, here, cão. Now, there's supposed to be a little thing on top of the A, but I don't have a Portuguese keyboard, so I couldn't do it. So, cão means dog. Gato means cat. Rato means mouse. Cavalo means horse. Vaca means cow. Porco means pig. Boy means bull. Pássaro means bird. And peixe means fish. So there's just a few little animals. Cão, gato, rato, cavalo, vaca, porco, boi, pássaro e peixe. Uh, moving on to this one here. Árvore means tree. Planta, plant. Mar means sea. Oceano means ocean. Terra means land. Rio means river. You notice that with when well, there's an R in Portuguese, it's like a R. R. An R at the beginning of a word is a R. And then and two R's in the middle of a word, it's also a R. So that's rio, river, river. Uh, céu means um, sky. Nuvens means clouds. Vento means wind. Sol means sun. Lua means moon. I'll add a little one here. And onda means wave. Now, moving along to different parts of a person's face. So, if you can see here again, LH, L, olhos, means eyes, nariz, nose, boca, mouth, dentes, teeth, labios, lips, orelhas, Again, LH, L, orelhas, it's your ears. Testa, it's your forehead. Cabelo, it's your hair, what's left of it. Pestanas, they are your eyelashes. Uh, Sobrancelhas, which is a very hard word to pronounce if you're not Portuguese. Sobrancelhas means your eyebrows. Queixo means your chin. Uh, moving on to other things now. Prato means a plate. Copo means a glass. Garfo means a fork. Now the next word, if you pronounce that in Portuguese, gives you a bit of a cheeky swear word in English. So I'll leave that, but that means a uh, knife. Uh, guardanapo means uh, a serviette, a, a tissue. And colher means a spoon. Now I'm just going to add some more into here and we'll go through the numbers. Um, one, dois, two, Três, three, quatro, four, 
5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, uh, not November, 9, uh, 9, dez, means 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pretty easy. Um, just one last thing before we finish off uh, this lesson. Uh, let's go through days of the week. Segunda feira, Monday. Terça feira, Tuesday. Quarta feira, Wednesday. Quinta feira, Thursday. Sexta feira, uh, Friday. Sábado. E sábado, Saturday, domingo, Sunday. Now, you notice that from Monday to Friday, they have the same ending in that word, feira. Now, feira means uh, a market. So what segunda means? Segunda means second market, third market, fourth market, fifth mar market, and sixth market. So in the olden days, they used to have, they used to have a market on um, a day of the week. So that became the Portuguese uh, weeks, uh, days of the week. Segunda feira, terça feira, quarta feira, quinta feira, sexta feira, sábado e domingo. All right. So just one more time, I'll pronounce it for you. Homem, mulher, menino, menina. Cão, gato, rato, cavalo, vaca, porco, boi, pássaro, peixe, árvore, planta, mar, oceano, terra, rio, céu, nuvens, vento, sol, lua, onda, olhos, nariz, boca, dentes, lábios e orelhas, testa, Cabelo, pestanas, sobrancelhas, queixo, prato, copo, garfo. I won't pronounce that one, but you know that's knife. Guardanapo, colher. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Very similar to Spanish. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. Similar to French. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, segunda feira, terça feira, quarta feira, quinta feira, sexta feira, sábado and e domingo. So, guys, that's uh, just a quick uh, little Portuguese lesson and some fun facts about Portugal. And I hope you got something from it. And I'll try to post a few more and we'll just keep um, learning the Portuguese, the Portuguese language. Thank you for tuning in and hopefully you got something out of this. Bye-bye.